Hello friends, welcome to SF German Language Institute. My name is Anand and this is the fourth video, sorry. And this is the fifth video of our complete series of Goethe A2 exam preparation. In this video, we are going to talk about Lesen module Tile Dry. So in this module, as usual, if you have seen earlier videos, I will solve one question paper for you and then you will be solving second question paper and share answers in the comment box. So let's check our Lesen module dry part three. Lesen module tile dry. That is part three. Right. Okay. Now it's time to start with our tile dry. Okay, so here we are starting with our tile dry. What do you see here? Lesen tile dry Goethe certificate at Swai. Let's start part three of Goethe certificate at Swai Lesen. The Lesen and email. So you have an email here. Wählen Sie für die Aufgaben elf bis fünf die richtige Lösung A, B oder C. Again, you have to uh, select the correct option that is A, B or C. Read this, understand this, and then there will be five uh, questions. And questions, as in you can see here, there are uh, five sentences. And first half of the sentence is given, the start, and you have to complete that sentence by using the correct option A, B, or C. And here we will read this email. I will explain slowly, and you can notice one thing i don't want to give this uh, as a trick like thumb rule but the sentences and the information in the email will have the same sequence i mean the this you see here 11 12 13 14 so as you go on reading you automatically understand uh, the sequence of that you can see here small texts are there i do not assure that uh, the same similar pattern will be there that there will be small small paragraph but first paragraph second paragraph third paragraph fourth and fifth okay and there are five sentences and one paragraph one sentence this is what is there in this question paper in next one also but be prepared that there can be different sequence and there can there will be no paragraph maybe only three paragraphs only two paragraphs and you have to uh, complete those sentences let's read this first okay lieber sonia ich bin jetzt schon vier wochen in hamburg who is writing this gulkan gulkan okay gulkan is writing this and to whom to sonia Ich bin jetzt schon vier Wochen in Hamburg und bin noch dabei, mich hier einzuleben. An der Universität. Uh, again, you don't have to understand everything, okay? Just try to extract the meaning, like guess the meaning. Because there you will not have chance to use Google Translate or any dictionary. You have to just understand. And no matter how much you study, there, there will be few words you don't know. Okay, so be prepared for that. Don't expect that it will be very easy and you will understand everything. Okay, there will be some words you won't understand. And again, another pressure like exam pressure you have. And uh, because of that also, sometimes we, you know, just get jumbled up. Like, okay, what is the meaning of this? So you will have to read that text again and again then. Ich bin jetzt schon vier Wochen in Hamburg und bin noch dabei, mich hier einzuleben. An der Universität ist vieles ganz anderes organisiert als zu Hause. Und auch im täglichen Leben musste ich erstmal lernen, wie einige Dinge hier gemacht werden. Zum Beispiel, wie ich ein Zimmer finde und wo ich was einkaufen kann. Okay, so now we'll see the first sentence here. Gulkan sagt über ihr Leben in Hamburg. Das, das Studium wie in ihrem Heimatland ist. There is nothing about studium. Im Alltag einiges wie zu Hause ist. And third one, im Moment vieles neue für sie ist. 
at this moment everything is new for her and then our answer is here c okay because you can see in the first text everything is new for her okay uh, now ich bin jetzt schon vier wochen in hamburg und bin noch dabei i'm still there mich hier einzuleben to set myself here okay and the university it feels ganz anderes ganz anderes ganz neu okay completely different or completely new for me okay so it is about new city and it is everything is new okay so then the second sentence will read first and we'll go to the text you can use both the methods the uh, student and group and hat the students group had or they did something what exactly so that we'll find out the second text in their aston woche haben ein paar studenten ein willkommens program führung für uns ausländische studie uh, studierende gemacht okay so for uh, foreign students the couple of students they arrange one welcome uh, welcome and führung means what welcome and will show you the university Sie haben uns die Uni gezeigt. They showed us the university, the Bibliothek, the Cafeteria und the Multimedia Raum. So this is what they showed. Hamburg habe ich dann allein mit dem Startplan kennengelernt. Kennengelernt, got introduced with or got to know or I uh, explored that. So Hamburg habe ich dann allein. I did it alone. Means that group didn't do that. Okay. So let's see the options here. The student and group had then noyan the hokshula gets it hokshula and university is same okay don't get confused no that was university and this is hokshula it is same für neue studenten ein start führung gemacht start führung city they didn't show they showed only university right okay a city uh, gulkan saw herself so gulkan anderen ausländischen studenten vorgestellt okay there was nothing about getting introduced with each other it was simply showing university that's what was mentioned in the text so our answer will be a solve a that will be the answer elf say and solve a that will mention here first elf say Solve A. Ah. <clears throat> and now we will see the third one. In their Wonung. In their Wonung, what? Now, even if you remember, read three options, you may not remember that. So let's get back to text on this email and the third paragraph. Ich wohne mit drei anderen Studenten aus Italien, Japan und Mexiko zusammen. So living with three people and they are from these three different countries. Ima Freitags kocht hi einer von uns, one of us. Freitags, Friday. So always on Friday, one of us cooks. Aus seinem Land und wir essen zusammen. Something, some food. One of us cooks something from his or her country uh, and we eat together. Obwohl wir nur eine winzig kleine Küche haben small tiny kitchen we have ich finde das super du weiß ja wie gern ich koche you know that how uh, much i like to cook so here every friday someone cooks one of us not one person always for everyone everyone cooks okay one uh, every friday so let's see that in their wohnung kochen alle zusammen alle zusammen nein Kocht Gulkan immer für alle. Always Gulkan cooks for everyone? No. Kocht jeder einmal für die anderen. Everyone cooks once for others. Okay, so answer will be again. Dreizehn, say. Thirteen, see. I will mention that here now. Dreizehn, say. Okay. Now let's go to the next one. Gulkan is Gulkan is this wishish. For Gulkan, it is important. What is important for Gulkan? Auf English zu üben, Deutsch zu sprechen, uh, Herrn Han kennen zu lernen. So some language or Mr. Han. About them, we are going to learn in this now. Okay, so let's go to the text. 
here via expression we are going to read this one now i will highlight if you don't find it quickly via expression in their wohnung nicht nur deutsch sondern oft auch english means we don't only speak german we also speak often english mit einander with each other manchmal is das einfacher sometimes it is easy aber mich stört das ein bisschen but for me it is bit uh, disturbing or i don't like it okay manchmal is das einfacher sometimes it is easy sometimes it is difficult or she doesn't like it ich möchte dieses jahr möglichst viel deutsch lernen possibly i want to learn this year lot of german und weißt du was mir am meisten spaß macht do you know what i enjoy most their literature course the literature course their dozent is name of uh, sorry this is their dozent means the professor the lecturer herr han is a total witziger tip he is very funny type guy okay there muskes do mal erleben you must attend his one lecture at least means you must experience his one lecture okay so now let's see the option meeting him is okay like uh, you uh, someone attends uh, enjoys his lecture gulkan enjoys uh, his lecture let's see the options what are the options gulkan is this wishish what is important for her auch english zu üben deutsch zu sprechen uh, herrn han kennen zu lernen so it was not uh, important to meet mr han she enjoys okay then she said we also speak here english we practice that okay and that is uh, simple or something so and next is be deutsch zu sprechen so here in text you see english also yes they are practicing and german also or german also they are doing they are speaking or she wants to learn so what is the correct answer exactly a or b so now here german they are speaking all together also and she also wants to learn german further so that is important okay möchte deutsch lernen so deutsch zu sprechen b option will select here was english we are speaking but she is not that much happy also with that and she also says i have to improve my german in the text so b is the option here so fiat sen b you may find sometimes answers confusing and obviously there you will lose some points okay you will have to uh, learn read fast and learn more and more vocab and then you will be able to find exact answers quickly okay but just passing is not that difficult at all that you might have understood next is film sen im märz in march okay bezukan sie mario zu hause im märz bezukan sie mario zu hause they are meeting mario at home oh machen sonia und gülkan urlaub am meer und übernachten sonia in mario sima let's see the options now im märz in march what they are doing the last text ich freue mich auf deinen besuch im märz okay means what gülkan is saying i'm happy on your visit in march that means in march sonia is coming to visit gülkan okay dann zeige ich dir die start und an einem nachmittag fahren wir an die ostsee i will show you the city and in one afternoon i will i will go to ostsee then da ist es total schön there it is very beautiful du kannst dann bei mario schlafen you can sleep at my in mario's room okay das ist der italiener that is that it one from italian okay der neben mir wohnt they who lives besides me er is eis von einverstanden einverstanden means he agrees then because er fährt in den ferien nach hause nach genua so he is traveling in vacation somewhere so his room is vacant and he agrees that you can come and you can sleep in his room okay so this is the thing now let's see the options again Bezukan sie Mario zu Hause? No, Mario is traveling somewhere. Okay. Machen Sonia und Gulkan Urlaub am Meer? 
they are not having vacation only one afternoon they are going there right over after sonia in mario sima this is very clear like yes she is going to stay in mario's room okay so our answer will be again say fumsen say let's note it down fumsen say and let's check the answers on page number 34 hope you have this question paper downloaded and printed okay tile dry elf say okay elf ha huh. elf say solve a dreizehn say vierzehn b und fünfzehn say so it is say a say b say say a say b say say a say b say yes our answers are correct okay and now you are going to solve the similar one okay here you go lesson see an email same you have to read one email and see there are like how many texts are there paragraphs 1 2 3 4 and 5 five paragraphs and 99.99% i'm sure that uh, this will be in sequence only and here are five sentences 11 12 13 14 15 and you have to solve these answers okay so take the screenshot of these sentences first quickly got it now take the screenshot of this text now cursor i'm moving okay you got the screenshot now uh <laughs> keep your answers ready get like just find your answers and i'm going to show you the answers now but before i show you pause this video and uh, note down your answers and then check the answers with uh, like answers i'm showing now your answers with the answers given in this question paper and again mention everything in the comment box how much you scored out of 5 how many you got correct and whatever doubt whatever your queries you have just mention there in comment box and we'll discuss over there okay so the answers to this question is here you can see tile dry b c b c c again there is not a single uh, sentence with a answer a ah. so it is b c b c c so share your answers score and your doubts in comment box we'll discuss over there and after this we will see our tile fear part 4 of lesson module goethe certificate that's why <clears throat> tile fear and here also <clears throat> hmm. so we'll see here now goethe certificate that's why lesson tile fear reading part 4 so guys that was our goethe a2 lesson module tile dry part 3 i hope you understood everything very well and you have noted down your answers please uh, share your answers in the comment box there we'll discuss we'll check and any further questions queries you have mention there in the comment box that is our live classroom yeah choose then see you in our next video